I like when you uh, um when oh. you guys when you make fun of her uh taking care of the cat, Zoa. That poor cat <laughs> is miserable <laughs> in its existence. <laughs> like, fu- like dude, if I if that was me as a cat, end me. <laughs> Take me to my next life now. I don't have eyelids. <laughs> Fuck off. Kill me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's, that's her cat. But it's an indoor cat. I, it doesn't even need eyelids. What? Hello, hello. Welcome to another live episode of We Sam's World. If you're tuning in live on Adobe Radio, thank you so much. And if you're watching on YouTube, you're getting a special treat. It's our first ever episode in the new studio. It's completely done. Now, is this the first time I recorded this? No. Yes. Yes, it is. It's the second time, Peyton. No. It's this. this is, sh- sh- Peyton. Sh- sh- you're ruining the immersion. The immersion? The people. People. Are Wait. This is the first episode. Do you no. mean illusion? No, no, no. Immersion. An immersion? I want them to be immersed in the new space. This is an ASMR. And you messed up, and you dropped a phone during our last interview, yeah. which I'm just making a list of everything I, you do know, wrong in life. I know. I know. Okay? Yeah. All right? Okay. Now, well, now we could have been home by now. You could have been with your wife. Yeah. yeah she could have yeah. been yelling at you. I was yeah. going to say something yeah. else, but I'm glad I said yelling at you. So, anyway. Hey, Good. what's up, guys? We're in the new studio. So excited to be recording this for the second time. Uh, we have a very special guest. She's always our first guest in the new studio and there are two other people in here with me right now and i have to pretend like they're not here because they're so good looking and distracting they actually are that's that's the crazy part it's one of them is alexander gorski our social media producer and the other one is my brother william who is the most handsome out of all three of us that we decided it's it's just it's just too annoying too annoying too annoying and I do that now. Certain words, I'll go into this weird accent. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm 34, and that's what happens when you're 34. Maybe. Or, maybe. Maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest today is a very special friend, person, actress, activist. You know her, Britt Robertson. She's been in our the first of every new episode we have in every new studio space, and uh, today is no exception. We had a great talk. She shared some very, very personal things today, and it was very brave of her to share them, and I'm, I appreciate that she was sharing them live on air, and it means a lot that she feels comfortable enough to share these things, um, and uh, it was a great talk. We laughed. We cried. Peyton messed up again. Peyton messed up in the middle of a very, very uh. important... and. <laughs> And you, I'm go sorry. ahead, man. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Read the text. It, I forgot that was on. I had it off for David. But Read the text. To, do you want to know the text? It's out of context. Read the text. Okay, okay. I'm pulling it up. I might be down for a few rounds. Is what it said. <sighs> there you go. Out of context. And I also have don't forget crisp drinks. I'm going to go barf, brush my teeth, and then we'll be back with Burt Robinson. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Can I bring liquids in here? You oh, can. It looks amazing. Thank you so wow. much. Wow, you guys. Can I touch it? You can touch everything. This is a real moss. <laughs> wow. Real, real it's moss. Real? It's real. Whoa. Yeah. Take it from outside? Uh, I mean, it was outside at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it from Michael's? Uh, Michael's, Joanne's Fabric. Joanne. I Joanne. love Joanne. Joanne's the best. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You put on the headphones and oh, get comfy. Sorry, you got, you got your. You know what I love I about you right now? Tell me. Um, you you can switch them so the wire is on the other side. It'll be yeah, it'll oh, be yeah. better for you. Um, you brought a cozy blanket. You're cozy in the space. Yeah, because I feel comfortable here, and yeah. I just thought that I'd bring you know, 
I just wanted to feel for me, you know, I just wanted to feel like I just wanted to feel like I'm at home <laughs> and and that's what blankets do for me. Yeah. You feel like you've been wanting more of that uh, home base feeling in your life recently? Everywhere. Everywhere. I love that. Yeah, I just want to bring it with me everywhere. Okay. Respect. Word up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so you, excited to be here. Uh, you look really fit. Like you've been working out do, a really? lot. Really? I've yeah, been working. Yeah, yeah. It's all I do is work out. I do look fit. I mean, thank you for saying that, but I feel fit. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I looked it because sometimes it's hard to know with your own body, you know? Absolutely. No, you're, I mean, there hasn't been a great, you know, now I'm treading. Like, uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, yo. No, it's funny. No, no. Okay. You look leaner here, in the face, but your arms—that's arms jacked. what I was gonna say, jacked. If mm -hmm. I had a tank top on right now, I would show you how jacked my arms are. I mean, they are busting at the Whoa. seams. Your forearms are veiny. <laughs> <laughs> Careful! Are, don't turn me into the Hulk. It could you, happen. You doing? You doing a cycle? steroids yeah a little bit of stp and some pdc's and some orz yeah you know what I how it. funny would that be if you just went <laughs> full steroids i mean i i i would look if it would give me a really nice booty i would do it but yeah. i think i'm just born with what i got wait i am got what i was born with yeah <laughs> you know so i'm just gonna embrace it that's good and work out a lot what are you doing? Are you boxing? You're doing Sam. Yeah. I took a page out of your book a little bit, and I wake up early now. I wake up early, and I go and do these workouts Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 a.m. with a friend and a, and a fitness person. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Carl. Um, Flores. Uh, and he teaches me how to be more fit, and I've been swimming a lot. You know, I got this pool. I've been swimming a lot. I've been hiking. I've been doing a variety of workouts. Um, I did some some pole lessons and some floor work. Wow. At B-Spun. Wow. You yeah. Heard of it? <laughs> I've never heard of it. Uh, no, I go there regularly. No, uh, no. But for me, I got to switch it up, and I got to do something physical every day. That is awesome. What's driving this? This mechanism. Well, I just, I'm not a meditator. I can't do it right now at this stage of my life. I'm not a me med meditator. Mm. So the only way for me to get out of my mind is to get into my body. body. So the best way for me to do that, I feel like I'm like, <laughs> is that condescending? Sorry. No, just <laughs> what is this? Um, so for me, yeah, mm. it is, uh, it's getting into my body. And it's the only time that I'm not like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I now like crave it. I like need it. Yeah, yeah. That's eventually that happens with that kind of stuff. You realize how much it's benefiting you, and then you oh. just really, really need it. Are you noticing any injuries or anything like that? Injuries? No, no, no. injuries. That's good. You know what is kind of weird though? My right big toe is. I mean, I don't know if it's broken or what's going on, but you know, maybe it's from all the yoga. But I, I, I do, whenever I flex it, it hurts. Okay. But other than that, no injuries, no. Yeah. That could be a, a metacarpal tussle injury. Yeah, just, Tinnitus. just just age and wear and tear, as they say. Yeah. You're looking great, though. I'm so happy that you're doing Thanks. this. And it's Thanks for having me. Yeah. I didn't realize about the first thing. Yeah. I. It's always fun to have you on and talk and catch up on here. I know we catch up off uh, air as well, but it's just nice to catch up on here, too. Because you're such a great energy to have on the show. Thank you so much. Thanks yeah. for having me. Uh, I want to get into some acting stuff, but I also want to get into great. your awesome pool that you just mentioned. Oh, my gosh. How's the pool going? You know, I was never a pool person. What about you? Do you pool? Mm, no. Nah. I don't pool. No. But now I do. I didn't. I'm not even sure what happened. You know, the pandemic happened, and I was a little bit, like, with the thumbs. And, you know, I ended up booking this show that was just never made. And... I, they just paid me for it anyway. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do with all this like free Monopoly money? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I think we buy a pool. We build a pool. Right. Um, so I started early in the pandemic. I mean, I'm talking April 2020. I was trying to get these permits locked down. Well, cut to, you know, like 14 months later, they were like, hey. We got the permits for the pool. You ready? 
I'm like in Vancouver. I'm like, I don't know. Can I afford a pool? Have I already spent the money? I kind of forgot to be honest. I mean, there was a huge hole in my backyard. So like, it's hard to forget. But Whoa, anyway, 14 months? There I was know. just a hole sitting in your backyard. That yeah. would not fly with me. I'm like, just start building it. What are you going to do? I mean. You got to bribe some of the officials. Uh, that's what, that's why but I, here's the problem. None of the offices were even open, so it's not uh, even like I could contact them. I was also protesting a lot, and I had this theory that because the mayor has to sa- sign off on all of the permits. Or, wait, what? I don't know. Maybe it's a stamp. I'm not sure. But I was doing a lot of protesting outside Garcetti's house. And I, I mean, I'm a total narcissist in thinking this, but I was like, he's coming for me. He's never going to give me that pool. There's yeah. going to be no stamp of approval. Yeah. Chant down. Whatever. So, anyway, he bet he gave me the permits. It was a little late, but um, I finally broke. Uh, well, I guess not ground, but I was able to to break swim, like September. No, what was it? August twenty seventh. Whoa. Was the first day that I I swam in my pool and spent time in the hot tub. tub I saw. Bizzle. I saw it. It looks. It looks legit. Yeah, it's I put it on that close friends. Yeah. Well, I'm now it's on the whole world. No, friends. it's not. No, no, <laughs> no it's not. We're deleting this part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, are we? <laughs> no. Oh, no, 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 I just no. mean the content. Oh, the itself. content. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No yeah, one yeah. needs no. to see me like no, no, going no. crazy in my pool. And yeah, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm glad I'm on that close friends <clears> list. <throat> I thought about making a close friends list, but even then, I'm like. Mm. But my content. Don't you think my content is worthy of a close friends? I gotta say, it's. It's very entertaining, and I get a little excited when I see the green circle around oh, your Oh, yeah, thing, you like, know, it's something good. Yeah, and I am, am I in public? Uh, yeah, 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 like- yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> One time, guys, it was just me swimming nude in my pool. It was? <laughs> yeah. And then we, and I was like, well, no one saw, like, any of the real parts, right? And we Sam was like, no, I, I fully saw your, your boob. And I yep. was like, oh, well. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, that's okay. It was artsy, so it works. It was art, you know, and I also don't care. You know what? with those close people because oftentimes on a good Friday night if it's like a really good Friday night somebody's gonna see something whether it's just me dancing and skirts flying Mm -hmm. or it's just me like feeling liberated and loose so I try not to yeah put too many rules on myself like that when it comes to nudity well that's good yeah do your thing and but life is good for you right now it seems like uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think relatively, you know, I'm feeling pretty good right now in this very moment. Mm. I feel really good right now. Yeah. I don't like to kind of judge what happened like, you know, six hours ago or what should happen in six hours from now, which ideally we'll be sleeping. But, um, you know, but I feel like I'm trying to stay more present. That's the thing with the meditating and even the working out. The idea is that you're more present and you're less, like, anxious about this or, like, worried about that, you know, and it's more about being mindful of what's happening now, right? You nailed it. Sorry, I just burped. That's Ugh. okay. Mindfulness is something that is so hard to tune into because me included, uh, the majority of our day is in auto- automatic mode. Mm. And so that's why when you have these, like, intense exercises or activities that you're mm. doing – you can't really be thinking of anything else. You're really in that moment, and it gives the rest of your brain a little bit of a break, you know? It breathes. Yeah. It exp- you know, uh, loosens the bandwidth of which your brain is constantly on. Do you want to hear something very real or no? Not the show for that? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Let's hear something really real. Mm. Okay, here's something really real. So I – recently <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna I'm actually genuinely curious how you're gonna feel about this oh my gosh okay hold on are you nervous where, where, I'm nervous all, where, did, where did this come from it's a water oh for thank you. you thank you I was like it just appeared there sorry hold on did you like it I loved it okay I'm ready water um okay so I recently went on antidepressants okay how do you feel about that uh are they creating a positive impact on your life well, here's the thing is it takes a little bit of time for them to build up in your system. So oh. truthfully, in the last like few weeks, I've been like, <gasps> I've had more panic attacks than I've ever had in my life. I'm like spinning out. What? But I only say this because I just think it's like 
I just think like you know it's like I would tell my friend I to- I've told so many of my friends about mm-hmm. this and and that's what I like about your show is I feel like we are talking like f- you know friends and this is a part of my life that I haven't caught you up on so why not share with the class um but what I think is really been great about it um and you know obviously everybody's got their own path in life I put so much pressure on myself for so long to like make it work you know like with my mind you know sometimes I would just I would be bogged down in anxiety and like and and truthfully like serious depression and like incapable of getting up and then it would just be a cycle of like feeding off of each other but I always thought like oh well truthfully I never even thought about medication for it but I've been in you know therapy for a long time and she was like I mean have you ever considered it and I was like I mean not really and then I went to a guy and he was like, yeah, you're depressed. And I was like, um, but I mean, but I like sound happy, you know, and I have this higher pitch thing that's happening and I'm nice to people and I can work out. And then, and then I was talking to him more and he was like, you know, I think you're really anxious as well. Like, and so I, t- I thought about it for a while and he was like, let's just put you in a, like the lowest, the minimal thing, right? Mm. First four days. I've never felt better in my life. And that was the first four days. And literally everyone was like, oh, it's going to take a few weeks. It's like, this isn't like a right away kind of thing. And I was like, finally had so much relief. And I was like, I'm thinking all the same thoughts. I'm the same person. I'm doing all the same stuff. It's just, I don't feel like everything's so dire and like, and like the world's going to end and it's all, you know, this moment is, is, is going to be the thing that makes or breaks my life. You know, it doesn't feel so high stakes. It's just like thoughts come and then they go and I'm able to like operate in like a really healthy way. But then it went away like a scary movie. It went away like the, the relief, the relief went away and we adjusted some things and now I'm feeling so much better. Um, but in those four days I was able to realize like, I think for me it's kind of been a chemical thing. Like, in now talking to my family and um, like my mom and my grandmother, I'm realizing that they've been on medication for pretty much their entire life, you know. It, and for them, it's like a brain thing. It's like a, mm-hmm. to- it's like a, it's a, chem- and I don't necessarily want to be on it for the rest of my life necessarily. Um, but I'm not putting that pressure on myself. I think I'm just, I, I just really want to be able to enjoy my life because I feel like I have such a great life, you know. And I hate that I haven't been able to enjoy it as much as as most people would if they were in my position. Wow. That's... Too deep for We Sam's World? I don't know. What do you no, think? No, no, and not no. Not too no. deep, but just like too obscure, a little too niche? No, no, not at all. I'm I'm just processing, first of all, yeah. everything you said, because there's Thanks a lot in there. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, well, first and foremost, if this is creating a pos- a real positive effect, and, and, and only you can determine that honestly yeah. with yourself. So true then that's great, you know? Yeah. Um, I know people have, and I know people have this kind of negative aspect on antidepressants and everything like that, and I used to have a really negative mindset on, like, mm. just just find the conviction of your will and do it, and then... Your inner warrior. Your inner warrior, exactly. Yeah. And I get it, though. Yeah. Everybody's body is different, and... That's kind of ignorant for me to say because honestly, I don't know the chemical imbalances in every single person or how their DNA and genetic makeup can affect future generations and the way their brain just functions in general. And yeah. maybe it is a, a huge mountain to climb to not feel depressed, to really uh, to, 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 to get rid of the anxiety that you're feeling. So I really appreciate you saying that because that's, uh, that's a b- really big deal, I feel like, coming from, from you. Yeah, well... Th- well, well, yeah, because I don't want you to feel weak that you're taking them either. Mm-hmm. Exactly, right? Like it's a it's no. an easy way out or it's a cop out. Because trust me, <laughs> in the last four weeks, there's been nothing easy about. Because it can be very scary, you know. Um, well, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, yeah, and I really mean this from the bottom of my heart. Um, you know me; I don't like to hang out with a, 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 a large array of people, and and I don't share things with a lar- large array of people, but. I remember when I first came into contact with you on, on For the People, I was like, oh, this is a person I want to be around and hang out with because 
it's not because you're perfect. It's not because you're, uh, you're like uh, this super successful person in the acting world. It's like, oh no, there's a genuine person there. They bring a light to everybody around them when they're on set or off set, and they're honest mm. with me constantly. Like I don't never, I never feel like there's a different. Like oh, maybe there's something going on. Like you know, yeah. I, I don't trust Brit. Yeah. Um. So that's freaking great that these pills are doing wonders Love for you. Love the pills. No, no, no. But it's and, true. But like, it's under the supervision of not only your therapist, but also somebody, a, a doctor, right? A psychiatrist. A psychiatrist. Yeah. Psychiatrist. Who great. specializes in that. Yeah. Well, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. And for the people out there who are not under this kind of supervision and taking those pills, yeah. you need to find experts oh, to help it. you. Let me tell you a little secret on why I'm successful. It's not because I'm smart. It's because literally I copy what other successful people have done. Yeah. You, That's it. Yes, you listen to the smart people. Exactly right. I mean, I was so – now I'm, I'm like I want a first opinion. I want a second opinion. I want to like – because – and and not to like overwhelm myself, but I just want as much information as possible because in some ways – when I learned to look past like feeling like a weak person for just being like, oh, just give me the drugs. That'll be easier. Um, once I was able to look past that, I was able to actually look at it in, in a different way, which is that I'm being proactive in my life about this thing that I just can't seem to to handle on my own or to 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 figure out a way to work with it. And, and I've been trying and I've been actively like um working towards it but it doesn't really feel like I'm moving the needle in any sort of significant way and so looking to like professional help you know I realized is actually not the easy way out at all it's 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 hard to make those steps in Absolutely. your life you know it's hard to make those kind of changes I think personally um because it does it changes your brain chemistry but I, I mean I like me and everything like she's cool to hang out with uh, but, but I am, I'm, I've been so exhausted of hanging out with me, you know? And so it's been nice to, to just find other things for her to do other than think about everything that life has. Apparently this is a thing that's been, ha have you heard of this thing called the, um, what's it called? The dark, the dark night of the soul. The dark night of the soul. Somebody posted about this on no. Instagram. No. It's about a transitional phase in life. That's yeah. all I have to say. It's a transitional? What do you, what do you mean? Because I, I, wa I want to say this, I, just before we con transition to this, you found a balance, which I think is really important. Yeah. And it's a healthy balance. Yeah. And it's no, and yes, it's different from somebody who's maybe having a rough day and they're like, you know what? I like a glass of wine at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. I don't go bonkers. I just have a glass of wine a few times a night and yeah. that's my life. Or once a week, twice a week, whatever. <sighs> Just doesn't Finding do it that for me. Just, and that's fine, but it parallels to this because you're getting, again, it's balanced because you're getting monitored by professionals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like, yeah, my friend Christine gives me these Xanaxes and I feel great. It's like, okay, well. To all the Christines out there, we just don't think you're drug dealing losers. No, I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, um, no, exactly. I have yeah. balance and I'm trying to do it all. You know, I'm eating better and I'm working out and I'm trying to just like be physical and mindful and. Well, first of all, what's the dark nature of the night? And then my second follow up is, what is it? how is this affecting your acting work? Right. Because that's the most important oh, thing. Oh, it's such a good question. I yeah. was so scared about that. But do we need to address this? No, I was just talking to my my producer. We need a we need a we haven't got a clock in here yet. As I was just making sure we're good on the commercial break. All right, you just tell me. You just do one of these. For Imagine me. during your most like dramatic moment. I'm like, <laughs> I know. I was like, I mean, <laughs> I, that's a good place to stop there. Uh, <laughs> what's the, what's the dark thing of the night? No, I just was reading this thing on Instagram. It's called like, <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> so stupid. It's got like the dark night for the soul. I don't know. I can't even remember now. But yeah. um, I bought a book on it. I'll be reading it shortly. And I'll give you more <laughs> details on it then. But it just talks about how um, some people are experiencing like a, uh, especially coming out of like traumatic uh, things that happen in the world. So a lot of people are, this has happens to them um, post pandemic or like coming out of the pandemic into a war. Like if they were isolated a lot, that wasn't my situation, but a lot of people are experiencing it if they were isolated and they hadn't had a lot of like social interaction and then it maybe they 
I had like some sort of whatever yeah. trauma experience and then and now they're kind of like coming out of it out of the dark night um, and it's like a transitional phase uh, and I sort of feel that okay, okay, way okay. about me for mm. a variety of reasons All but right. but I'm coming out of the dark night and into the bright morning yeah well we're, we got to take a quick break here in a little bit but there's a couple things I want to discuss <sighs> is right. a, some of the I mean we don't have to if you don't want to I thought it was over after that you told me confess about the antidepressants and then we can move it along <laughs> our readings are going to be through the roof <laughs> Guys, this is gold. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Welcome to my E True Hollywood story. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Oh my gosh. Um, no. God, this just makes me want to be a radio host. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Just like, oh God, doesn't it remind you of like, did you ever listen to like morning radio talk on like in the car on your way to school or yeah. something? That's what this feels. Oh, I'm getting so close to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I knocked it. <laughs> you would have one of the best podcasts. I got to say that. We got to take a quick uh, break. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, when we come back, we're going to talk about how it's affected your acting. Yeah. Uh, the crazy TikTok people and my new <gasps> anti-Jasmine campaign I'm starting on Twitter, which I'm so excited about. My goal is to never get her verified. Wait, she's not verified? On Twitter, she's not verified. Oh, Twitter. Okay. And I'm it's like, I'm what's so, going on? Oh, my God. I'm it's so Conspiracy ex- against her in the world. Right? With the whole deadline thing. Yes. We'll talk about that, too. Okay, sorry. But um, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my goal is never to get her never verified on Twitter. Incredible. That's great. I think I might do a tweet every, like, couple days or something like that. Sure, sure, sure. sure. We'll be back. Okay, bye, guys. It's been a pleasure. Oh. No. Can we j- oh, we can just jump into it. Just do it. Dude, we're so fancy in the new studio. I love it. I love it too. I'm so pumped about this studio. You don't know how Yeah. I don't know I I don't want to say I've been crazy, but I've oh. been going nonstop since I got back from New York the last time. And I was like, oh cool, I'll have some di- downtime. Nope. No. Didn't have downtime because I started building this thing. I mean, but and do you I'd enjoy downtime? No. No, you're like one of you're like my grandpa who like as soon as he retired from a real job, he was like, maybe I'll be a realtor. And now he sells homes, which by the way, I don't know if you know, is a job, so he's not retired. Yeah. That's going to be you in yeah. like 50 years. You know what I like? This is how I like to relax. When I've been working so hard uh-huh. and I and like uh, I'm scared of the relaxation that you're about to describe. No. I I want to I want to like go out to a two-day trip like a weekend getaway and then maybe get like a massage some really good food play some video games mm. for like a week you know what i'll do that for a week and then i'm like back on the grind yeah that's actually fairly long. i mean that that's yeah. impressive yeah you should do that at some point i have a great massage place if you need it okay just around here though all right just saying i know somebody else too anyway um okay you know someone else yeah um but what how has it affected your acting this new this new brit and your art well originally i was afraid because i was like uh cuz i mean you don't know what you don't know isn't that the old saying you don't know what you don't know you haven't heard this you don't know what you don't know that an- okay first you of all that it. annoys me so much that that's a saying you don't know what you don't know you don't a cup of coffee is a cup of coffee that's wrong no you're missing the point which no, is no i'm not you're missing the point. Really listen to what I'm saying. Okay. You don't know what mm-hmm. you don't know. N- now I just got <laughs> even angrier. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but continue. No. All right. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't know the sky was blue, then you wouldn't know that you didn't know that the sky was blue. Okay. I'm not going crazy. That's a ridiculous <laughs> saying. Okay, okay. That can't be the saying. Isn't that a saying? Hey guys, isn't that a saying? Peyton, can you look that up? Sure. Thank you. I mean, if I created it, that's pretty cool. Um, I guess not because you hate it. But you don't know what you don't know. And I didn't know how I was going to feel on the the, the the meds. So I was, like, very concerned. But that's just how desperate I was for some help. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, Not really. But yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I just it's needed, okay if you were like, desperate for help. I really just needed help. Um, Anyway, so... I did it and I did it regardless. I was like, ugh, well, you know, this is better than suffering forever. I mean, not to be dramatic, but you get it. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, wow. if you really think about it, I mean, it only makes s- just the most sense. <laughs> um, I, but I'm t- so I did a self tape, probably like it was during that four day period where I was like, life is good, mm. I am gold. Um, which I'm convinced to this day is like maybe a placebo effect, but um, but that's real, by the way. Of course it is. That's r- it's a legit real thing. It's definitely what happened to me. It's definitely what happened to me. The placebo or the real thing? I think it was a placebo effect. I mean, there's no way this stuff, although I did feel, whatever, we can get into it another time. No, 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 no. The, this is something I think that's that's super important to yeah. hit on because it shows you how strong your mind is. Yes, exactly. Yes. It controls everything. Yeah. And that's why getting better at having more of a mental control over it. Yes takes practice and it's not going to happen overnight and if meds help you under supervision under professional supervision i just looked into that light i'm so blind right now then that's great whoa yeah then that's tempted now i know it blinded me really bad so tempted um but no yeah exactly right and i think that that's i also just really wanted to know what i'm supposed to kind of feel like you know Mm. like all all it had ever been was like just like really dark self just a lot of self-hatred you know just like why are you not better you're bad like i remember walking around Wait, what yeah i remember literally walking around my house and sometimes i would just randomly say i hate you so much isn't that crazy brit robertson isn't that crazy i just walk around and be like "Ugh, i hate you so much and then i'd just be standing there and i'd be like that's not nice you know like i would never say that to someone but Brit. he said it to me. Why do I say this to me? Not good. Because I'm just like, Ugh. and what, what I was saying is like, turn it off, turn it off. I hate you so much. You know, it was more about like what, what I couldn't stop. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, so then when I started, when I started doing the acting thing, post taking the, the meds, I was really concerned. Like, will I have access to the, the parts of me that I need to do my job well? And what's so nuts about it is it's actually easier for me to do my job now because now I'm not in my own way now I'm not like second guessing third guessing going home and this is what I literally did over the summer I did these two projects over the summer (laughs) and I was so insecure about what I was doing because I hadn't you know acted really since the pandemic um had begun so it'd been you know over a year year and a half whatever and I would go home and I would just set up my camera and I would just perform the scenes in front of my camera and then watch them back just so I could like ease my anxieties of like what a bad performance, you know? And so that's when I realized like, oh, this is actually so beneficial to my performance and my job because now I'm really truly in the moment and I'm able to be alive and and access these things without me getting in the way of all of it. Wow, so you ha- you've had, it's almost like a trainer or a, an athlete or a martial artist who's had like weights mm-hmm. on them their mm-hmm. whole time training years and mm-hmm. years and you were finally able to yes. let go of those weights and I was able to wow. like sort of harness something that I haven't been able to because you know the Ooh. this thing has been in the way I've been, there's been a block you know a mental block a physical block an emotional block and now I'm able to just access those things like fairly easy oh. at least at this point I yes mean, see what yes, happens but yes it's pretty cool that's incredible again that's just, great and when i'm talking to my professionals um my therapist actually said this to me she said she said the way that you're talking about your experience now um versus your experience before you started taking them makes me realize that this is something that's very beneficial for you at this stage in your life. It doesn't have to be long term, doesn't have to be whatever. I just think right now this is a really good thing for you because oh, yes. just the way you're talking about it and um so that makes me feel good too just knowing if you're the way that I'm articulating my experience um means that it's it's being helpful. So many things to unpack here. First and foremost, you are a great person. You oh. help your family. You help yeah. your friends. You're so good to your friends, and you're a light in a very dark world. So oh. never say those things to yourself again Thanks, if you can. Too. Always remember that you're here for a reason. I, I don't bring bad people on my show. I, know. I don't bring okay people on my show. Yeah. I bring really special people on here, with the exception of a few guests. Oh. Um, but it happens. for the most part. Yeah. yeah. You don't know what you don't know. You know? I don't know what I don't know, <laughs> that's for sure. And they don't know some stuff, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to mention any names. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll tell you later. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, you're an amazing human being. Thank Everybody you. I know who knows you loves you. Thanks. I really so appreciate So always that. remember that. And connecting that there used to be an inner voice that was this nagging little um, questioning like are you really good enough we say mm -hmm. are you really are you really worth yeah are you really even a good actor no. are you even like gonna be able to take care of your family and do all this stuff you want to do you got this fault you're this at this you're this at this so I would imagine this creature saying this to me and it's on the edge of a cliff. Mm -hmm. And every time it would, I would s hear that, I would, like, kick it. Like, I would kick it in my in my mind like off the further cliff. Further off the cliff, yeah. And it would come back up, climbing every single mm -hmm. time. And in 2016, I, I had some really, really bad things happen. And it was like, I had really bad anxiety. And I remember when I would walk up the mountain, and I would just walk up there. I'd be talking out loud to myself, praying mm -hmm. to God out loud. And, like, praying, like pumping myself up by just talking out loud as I'm doing this physical activity. And it was this little creature that would always pop its head up every now and then after that. And I just always imagine like, no, fuck off. Mm. I don't care what you say anymore. And eventually it gets weaker mm. and weaker and weaker. And yeah, it raises its head up sometimes to see, oh, you're not as Can strong I? right now. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say some stuff. Mm. And you, you just got to do that. And I, that's helped me. And I, and I, not just saying this to you, but to the listeners, like try to imagine that and know that it's a constant battle. Yeah, I love that so much. That's really, um, that's exactly right. And I, I, you know, that's what's so crazy about being in this position that I'm in now, um, feeling more like supported. Um, sorry, I had really bad allergies. Oh yeah, most people. Yeah. Sorry. It's the moss. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, yes. So I, but I feel like I'm able to listen to the girl who's pushing the creature off the cliff now, you know, whereas before it was like all just so cloudy and like I, all the voices were just the same and, and confusing and, and not really, um, none of it made any sense, you know? And now I feel like I have clarity with that stuff and I can go like, oh yes, I see you creature. Bye bye. Oh, see you. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. You know. Yeah, and more. It's more like a fuck you and yeah. kick in the fucking oh, face. Okay. That's the part that you oh, gotta got like it. do because that thing is is gotta tricky. Harness the. As soon as it opens its mouth, you gotta like be like no and like just like imagine yourself just kicking oh. this thing down the thing because it's tricky. Oh, that's really good actually. I never thought about it like that. Like, like it'll have a nope. But then nope. Yeah. Shut it up immediately and get no aggressive. Air. No, that thing is not helping you. Yeah. And it wants you to stop doing what you're doing. It I'm wants you. I'm always a little you. curious. I'm like, what's he have to say? Did you, oh, me? Or this creature? The creature. Oh, the creature. Oh. Yeah, that's why I'm like, let's let him up. Let's no, see no, what no, he's no, doing. No, no. Let's see, see what like, he wants to say about the world. No, 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 no. no yeah, no. But, but that's good. That's very good insight because had I known just to go like, mm, eh, you know, don't be curious. Don't be interested. It's a very, know? it's a, v oh, man. Gotta be careful out there with that creature. Uh, over feeling overwhelmed is a real thing too during any kind of endeavor. Um, yeah. Little backstory. I know I shared this a little bit with Alexandra uh, on the show, but like whenever I built the frame for this, mm. I was like, "What am I doing? <laughs> like, what? Why did I st like start this? This is gonna be so much work. work. Like, is you it built the frame?" Yeah, this is didn't exist anything. Wow. And wow. But it's gonna and then in my the, that the creature voice came up saying, "Is it gonna be worth it?" I mean, who really cares about this? I mean, come on, what are you doing this for? Is this a, this is a waste of money? You're spending a lot of money building this, Wee Sam. This is a lot of money. You're wasting your money. You should just save it. Like little things like that would constantly. Ugh. Oh, and that overwhelming heartbreaking. Theory, it's it's so and I I felt the weight of it and yeah. then you have life you know personal stuff get in totally. the way family stuff like like the stuff you know you've shared with me yeah but everybody goes through that that's the of crazy course. thing and it doesn't demean what you're going through but it makes you, at least you know okay there's a way out of this some people have gotten a way out of this and you know what I said earlier like I learned from smart people yeah that's exactly one of the things like. Just trying to learn from people who've gotten out of these messes yeah. is so important. Yeah. And so uh, thank you so much for sharing. No, again, of course. Because yeah. that's important for people to know that 
you're getting professional help mm. and it's making a positive impact on your life. And finally, last thing I'm going to say is I love that your therapist or your psychiatrist said for now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all we're worrying about. It's now. literally just like this moment, like today, you know. Nothing's guaranteed. Yeah. So that's totally. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks so you're much. Awesome. Thanks for your support. Uh, I'm so, I'm so, so happy for you. Yeah. You deserve, you deserve the happiness of the world. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling yeah. it. I'm feeling it. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Okay, so uh, we got to stop Jasmine. Okay, you trolling Jasmine is, I mean, I've told you this, is my favorite thing to happen since I've have had Instagram. Yeah. Um, but, so you've gone, um, you know, brown salt. You, you Have you now done away with that? And then remember there was the birthday. Just, just happy birthday, thing. Jasmine. Yeah, I got to bring that up again, by the way, yeah. And now... We've oh, actually my favorite video. Remember when it was like this incredible video of Jasmine like crying, like wailing, <laughs> and you <laughs> it's so good. It's incredible because it's like I don't even know this. I mean, she's so vulnerable and she brings up this part of her that is incredible to watch, but can also be <laughs> what is what is the laughter? What, what there's no but. It is magical. But yeah. uh, but the context in which you then placed it in too was very mm. funny. And now you're trolling her on her big huge movie that's gonna drop in a few months. Yeah. I'm, hey, and, and you know the the, the fun can't thing stop. about that is I can't will. Stop. Yeah, can't stop, won't stop. And I'm I'll actually I'm actually helping the movie because I, I I'm, you know. Yeah, well, you're giving it lots of loads of press. Yeah. But but. Um, do you know where Can't Stop, Won't Stop came from? Just sidebar. Is it a rap song? Close. Is it R&B song? Miley Cyrus. Uh, there is no way Miley Cyrus made that up first. And we can't stop, and we won't stop. I don't even know if I'm allowed to sing that. Let's take a commercial break. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Jasmine, so Jasmine. Yeah, Jasmine cried that thing the, where she was crying on the instagram stories was uh. because her what her movie was be, not her movie but her favorite book was being turned into a movie was oh that oh my it? gosh that was so funny yes or no it's like like do you guys remember what it was it was exactly that yeah. it was like i don't even remember what the movie was but she was so oh it was so funny when you when you recontextualized <laughs> or not even you use the same content yeah and it sounds ridiculous <laughs> she's ridiculous sometimes <laughs> she's me by the way she's so, so mean and i'm looking at the camera because i'm looking at her she sends me the meanest text messages sometimes and messages on instagram and i'm this close on posting some of them okay but i have a question yeah. so you're mean to her she's mean to you why is no one mean to me you want us to be mean to you no i don't want that <laughs> but i'm just curious because then when you two get together i'm like there's this whole piece of banter that I'm just missing out on, and it's and it's just this. Um, but I don't, I couldn't handle it. I really can't. I'm very sensitive. I'll go home and tell myself that I hate you. You know, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no I'm bringing you in for it. We're gonna we're don't gonna, make fun of me. Something. Okay, I will. You know, I'll do a Instagram post of you, like next time you do one of your. Uh, oh, I already know what I'm gonna do. Oh, great. I don't know. Yeah, surprise me. Yeah. Hey, you want to know, and uh, some of you don't actually know this, two of you in this room don't know this story. I think Alex might know, but this is one of my favorite all-time memories of how stupid I can be. Oh, great. It's when I I was coming over to your place to do some, I think it was pre-work like work for the uh, music video or something, and I'm knocking on your door, oh, yeah. and then I'm, I'm ringing your doorbell, and then the little ring th thing camera comes up, and... You know, I hear a voice go, hello? And I'm like, Brit, open the door, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and the person goes, yeah, I think you have the wrong home. Oh, my God. And I'm like, okay, Brit, yeah, I have the wrong home. And then she's like, no, I think you have the wrong home. I'm like, just open the door. <laughs> <laughs> he will not give it up. Won't give it up. She stopped responding. And then I'm like. Man, this bit has gone on way too yeah. long. <laughs> it's like 10 minutes. I'm on her front door. I'm so serious. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah, when yeah. I realized your house is one over. <laughs> I mean, that's the part that really gets me every time is that this was not your first time in my house. You're someone who can literally drive yourself to my house without directions, without a GPS, nothing. 
but you don't know what the house looks like? I messed up so bad. <laughs> these are not even close. They don't even look alike, these houses. I frightened your poor neighbors so bad. Yeah, luckily they're gone now. Oh, Everybody gosh. keeps leaving. Around I you? I feel like it's me, yeah. It stinks. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it got some like fertilizer rotting in the back or yeah. I don't know. Whatever you do, don't cut your hair really short and dye it pink. Short pink. Yeah. Why? Just don't cut it really short and dye it pink. Like, I don't know. I saw somebody we know do that. Short pink. Who did it? It's not even a real pink. Wait. It's like a dirty did pink. Did Jasmine do it? Yeah. Did you not see No. It? It's like this short and it's like a really bad color job. <laughs> Wait, it's pink? I have to look this up on our next break. I okay. didn't realize. I love her with short hair, though. I love her with short hair. Jasmine? Yeah. Yeah, she's okay. Well, okay. I think that she has, I mean, it depends on what look you're going for. I think it makes her look kind of like model, like like Tyra Banks would do that to her hair on the runway show. You're. That runway show? You know uh, that runway show? Yes. Yeah. You think that they would do that to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because it gives her like angle, sort of gives her this like androgynous yeah. female. Yeah powerhouse facial structure oh my gosh i wish she was here so we could break her face down together break her face down not like that like break her face you know what i'm talking about. not like physical it's not assault, even funny right? mean anymore it's just, just <laughs> <laughs> it's just cruel um, um yeah okay we gotta take a quick break can and I, then we'll be back can what? i look at the photo yeah yeah we'll, we'll pull it up on the gotta on the pull screen. it up i think uh is it really it could be one of those filters Hold on. While you're doing that, I'm going to – you know what bothers me? Are we recording it out back? We're good? Oh, yeah. I never stopped. Awesome. I love you. Okay. Stop, so this is – she has two phones, which bothers me more than anything. Well, she's been in Canada. Yeah. She's back, though. She is? Yeah, yeah. She didn't tell you? No. Okay. Oh. I know she is back, though. She is? Yeah. Do you follow her stories at all? Not really. I do. I, I sometimes. Have you noticed that certain stories don't show up for you? Yes. Why? Um, I don't know, but I also notice that some people I follow I don't follow anymore, and new people I follow I I'm following. I'm like, why is that happening? Did you get hacked? No. Did you try to FaceTime both phones? Yeah, and she didn't answer both ones. That's how you know she's <sighs> she's a bad person. Wow. Well, um, so, yeah, Peyton, she she has some photos, I think, with her short hair, if you can find it on her Instagram. If not, that's fine. Uh, no, there's definitely on her Instagram, and then one with her long hair. I, I think either way, it's like a little bit of a, you know. What do you think? You know. No, I don't know. I think you know. A little bit of a. You know. I love Jasmine. For those of you who don't know, I love Jasmine so much. So every mean comment I say is actually the opposite. Is actually just a big hug. It is. Do you like to hug people or no? Uh, I'm in my yoga teacher training program, and some chick was giving hugs to everybody in class, and um, I purposely put turned my back to her to make her very well aware that I did not want to hug. That's sweet. Yeah. So you don't like hugs? No. From strangers? No. Really? It's so uncomfortable. Do you like hugs from strangers? Um, honestly, sometimes I prefer them from strangers. What? Yeah, I know. Sometimes. Are you being for real? Yeah. Yeah. Why? What does that make you feel? Because I think there's like less pressure. <laughs> less pressure to do what? <laughs> to, what? You know, there's like I like how many, you know, it's like how many seconds is appropriate or do they like this? Am I forcing this hog? You know, this is the mind I live in. But so with strangers, you're like, I don't really care how this person feels about this hug. I'm just going to get what I need out of it. That is so not me. <laughs> so I, need, I cannot you know, relate I need to that connection. at all. Yeah. You have like a beautiful person to hug you at all times. Yeah. And I I have beautiful people to hug me at all times, but I just don't want to hug any of them. I, I prefer the strangers. Huh. I'm Did looking. you enjoy our hug when we first when we, when we saw? I didn't need it. For real? I didn't need that. Because truthfully, I was thinking, I don't think he likes this. I don't mind a hug from you. Well, I never want to hug anyone who says I don't mind a hug from you. I well, I want someone to go like, oh, I want to hug you. You know, I you think it's I fine. would say that I don't want it. That's why I like the strangers. Uh, let me try to. I don't want it. Conjure that up inside me. Hold it's on. It's not gonna feel good for me. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> just give me a chance. Can you give me a chance? 
All right. All I'll right. have my water break. Go for it. All right. Here we go. <sighs> Britt? Yeah. I would love to hug you. Oh, I didn't like that hug you. That part felt the so The YA artificial. was so bad. It was like, oh, yeah. It was like you were choking on it. It's like there was gum back there. What? You know what? Because it's not genuine. When I first saw you, I was like, oh, Brit. Like, then I want to hug you then. Really? But like in now, now, it would be like, why are we hugging? I think that that's my thing with hugs is I feel like everyone's thinking about it, you know? And sometimes you j like for me, I love the act of like physically connecting and like, a oh, man, someone the mic. That's the one. Yeah. So like you get it. So like sometimes for me, like physical connection needs to be needs to just be something that I can think about separately from the other person. I don't. None of it's making sense. No. I'm a little bit of a weirdo in here. You I know? love it. I love it. This is but, why I love picking your brain on s certain things because obviously we don't agree on this. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how, connecting the dots. Okay, next time you hug a stranger, just think about do next it. Next time I hug a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> when will I hug a stranger? Because you're gonna be curious because of this conversation. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm going to New York tomorrow, and I I'm just imagining. Good me. luck, you you on the subway, just like bring it in. If I wish there was a camera to see my face on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole podcast. That's a whole YouTube channel. We Sam on the subway, <laughs> just sighing constantly. Oh man, missing my Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, would you, if someone gave you a Tesla to drive in New York, would you? Yeah. Really? In a heartbeat. I'd feel safer. Where would you park it? Great question. I'd have to pay for one of those parking spots. So expensive. I know. Ugh. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm sorry. New York will never be as good as L.A. I hate New York. And guess what? I don't even like L.A. that much. I like L.A. That's great. But I'm saying New York, bottom of the barrel for me. Where would you love to shoot work to work yeah oh new zealand no oh, it's so far it is but it's beautiful countryside yeah. imagine me doing an epic out there no. i'm like a warrior prince it looks like like Vancouver. a handsome warrior prince you might as well like go a to sexy Toronto. handsome warrior prince uh are you gonna do that I'm, i might i mean vancouver is cool Anyway, um, yeah, New York is a bust. You know, I have had no good experiences there. Really, very little. Yeah. Very few. I don't. I, don't, I just don't like the city. Sorry. Just don't like it. It's over romanticized. Yeah. Um, way too expensive. Way too expensive. I I agree with you. I think we're probably some of the only two people in a room on microphones um, who are willing to admit much they don't like yeah. New York City. I've, I feel like I'm constantly almost getting into a fight with people in the service industry. Hmm. And I'm a nice guy. Yeah, and your <laughs> parents were also in the service industry. Yeah. industry, So you would think you'd be a little more respectful of the oh. job. You think it's my fault? I don't know. Is it? No. They're super aggressive You with think me. everyone's really aggressive with you? Most there? people are. You sure it's just not their nature? Well, it could be. So I have to be more welcoming of it? I don't know. I'll just, deal with it. Just, like, understand. You don't have to welcome it. You just be like, ugh, don't like this nature. Uh, well, I, I mean, I guess I understand it. Yeah. You live in a cold, crappy place, so that of course you're going to be... And they've got lots of hurricanes and, um, and you know... Oh, I floods. missed that hurricane. I flew right out that morning that we came ugh. in. That Brutal. flooding that yes, happened? That so was insane. so much flooding happens there. You know, um, you mentioned my dogs earlier. Buddy and Clyde. Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde. No, it's Buddy. Buddy and they're two boy dogs. It's not Bonnie and Clyde. It's Buddy and Clyde. I had Clyde first, and Buddy came with his Wait, name. Wait, are you being are you being serious? Yeah. I swear to you, I thought this whole time it you was named Bonnie. Your Bonnie and Clyde. Of course Clyde. you did. Yeah, I yeah, believe from you. Most the robbers. People do. No, duh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, it's a play on Bonnie and Clyde. It's Buddy and Clyde because they're two boys. Not that gender matters, but I just mean, <laughs> you know, he. I had Clyde first. Yeah. Buddy came with the name. So you got Buddy just because he was named Buddy? No, I was going to foster him, but he was so cute. Yeah. Yeah. So you always give him those him. bones, right? Yeah, because he's, he's very licky. 
<laughs> no, but I really thought the name was Bonnie and Clyde. This it's not. It's Buddy and Clyde. So you mentioned Buddy and Clyde earlier. Okay, Buddy and we'll Clyde. We'll have you come over, and then you'll you can rebond with Buddy because I'm sure I've misgendered Buddy. This I know. Whole time. I know. He's not going to be happy with you. And Canceled. I just I think. Well, I didn't say it. You isn't did. It, can I just say, isn't it kind of surprising I haven't been canceled yet? Yes. Yeah. I just wanted to say that. By someone. By Jasmine. I think Jasmine's. I know. Yeah. She's sitting on so much hot, hot con, not <laughs> tent, but oh. she's some hot <laughs> information. I don't know what I'm saying. You stopped in the in the most interesting con. <laughs> she's sitting on some hot con. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on some hot cot. Oh, are you kidding me right now? I didn't I didn't want to finish the sentence, but now I wish I would have. I'm probably <laughs> blushing. My purple. Oh yeah, you're red. You're good now. You're good now. Oh, it's great. Oh, Britt, you make me so happy. Um I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say. It I don't know even either. Matter. Uh, this has been good. Okay, I think we we could wrap we could wrap this baby up. This is good. Peace. And uh, we gotta say goodbye to Adobe Radio real quick. We'll I'd go on for to. a few for a little bit longer. Thank you for listening live on Adobe Radio. We appreciate you guys. If you want to watch the full episode, we're up on YouTube. Just search We Sam's World. Follow us. Subscribe to us. Make sure you follow us on our Instagram. It's all of our latest posts and some secret behind the scenes footage that you won't get anywhere else. And we're also on Twitter, where uh, you know the Stop Jasmine campaign is going on. Hashtag Stop Jasmine. I think because I don't have Twitter, I don't know about this. The, the real yeah. war. Ah, I'm terrible That's at okay. snars. That's okay. It, it really doesn't matter. Uh, she's been trying to... Her account on Twitter got uh, banned for a little bit, and then it got rebrought up. Hilarious. Right? What is she doing? Dude, I don't know what... What is happening? I mean, the whole Deadline article. Can I be honest with you? When I first saw yeah, Have her, you told your viewers about this? No, I have not. It's insanity. It's so, crazy. you know, this is how it started. For those of you listening, I see, you know, Jasmine. Okay, here we go. Jasmine made another post. Let's see what she's complaining about now kind of thing, right? Okay, all right, Jasmine. And she's like, blah, blah, blah. Deadline didn't mention my name. I'm like, wait, what's going on here? What's going on here? And then the more she posted about it, the more I was like, wait a minute. What if I was in this situation? This is messed up. This is really messed up. You're one of the main cast members. She's a series regular. Exactly. And the only two she people got, that were left out of that deadline article was Jasmine and the woman who played Jazz, like the older version of Jasmine, and who happened to be the only two people of color in the entire project. Yeah, it wasn't okay. Bad. And the way, and the way, I, I'm sorry, I don't know who this uh, uh, journalist or the writer was this for that deadline person is. But I'm trying to put myself in his position. If I messed up that badly. Oh my gosh! I I'd would be, be like mortified. I would I would put out a video apology. Just be like, hey, the, you know, I don't know. Like, well, first of all, don't do your job better. That's it the first have thing. Never happened. Yeah, but also you gotta acknowledge it to be like, I didn't do anything. I'm sorry. That's so lame and weak. Wow, that was I like that. That's so lame and weak. Right. It's an LKW phrase. It's lame and weak. Um. No, that is, is very... Uh, I didn't like that. that I didn't that, like it at all. Yeah, and just the aftermath of it all was just like, uh, left a bad taste. I felt really bad for her for that. I, yeah, because it just gets so complicated. Because then it becomes like, you know, it's a professional matter to start, but then it becomes personal when you don't have people advocating for you or speaking up on your behalf, and those are the people who are employing you, and it's like you feel... It can, be, it can get very complicated because... Um, you know, you just want to feel like you're working with people that you respect. And um, and those people don't necessarily know what she needs and vice versa. So I, I just, yeah, I really felt for her yeah. in that moment. Yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, Sucked. you didn't uh, feel that bad for her for very long. No, I went on with my life. Yeah. As I always do. I thought about it for months. Yeah. Still really bummed about it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. Before we wrap things up, yeah. I want to reiterate how much I appreciate you for just coming on in mm. general and second sharing such 
important things about your oh, life yeah, and your challenges and the things that are making your life better now. And I just want to reiterate again how much of an awesome person you are because oh, you're strong. Not all of us are strong all the time. And you've got a great circle around you. And just keep the good people in your life because – that's what's just going to keep you going through. And you're a good person and you're a super talented actress and you've accomplished so much in your life. And whatever happens after th that, like who gives a shit? Yeah. You no, just make you happy in, the, in, a, in a good way, in a healthy way. You know, just keep improving your art form and just keep doing you because that's why, you know, people like hanging out around you. I really appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for giving me the space to, to come on and talk about it. I didn't really plan on talking about that, yeah. but I mean, it feels... Like a shame, yeah. you know, it's it's an opportunity to, to share with the class. Absolutely. So, here I am. And fuck the naysayers and those people who comment shitty things. Yeah. By the way, you can't get on my bad side quicker by talking shit about somebody I love. Ooh. So, if you send me messages like that, oh, bye. Welcome to the block party. You're with a other bunch of assholes. Enjoy. Don't ever get to see my stuff again. I don't care. Blocked. Dude, I do not care. And plus, those people are lonely on the inside. They're bad. They yeah. haven't accomplished anything in their life. They're they cry struggling. at night. And that's fine. Good luck to your journey. <laughs> Good luck to your journey. <laughs> it's fine. Get me all amped up. Also, just um, don't read the comments, kids. Don't yeah. read the comments. He has to. He has a job and stuff. But yeah, don't. just don't read the comments. I like good comments. I don't read any of them, and I'm better better because of it. Because I can't Good. if I read them. I understand. Oh boy, I understand. I like. I by the way, if you argue on YouTube comments, like if you purposely troll bait. And, and bait and yeah. do that kind of stuff, what, you 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 loneliest person in the world. No, it's just a waste of energy. Everything. No, isn't it so much better to like. Be supportive and kind and yeah. loving in the world. Doesn't yes. that make you feel better? Yes. Yes. Do I make fun of Jasmine all the time? Yes. Does that make me feel better? Of course it does. But. I just can't relate. But deep down inside, it's one of my favorite things to you do. You just love her. You know what? I'm going to start uh, trolling you a little bit more. I think that's fair because I do that and with it could everybody. be good for me, you yeah, know? Yeah, sharpen you up a little bit. Toughen, Toughen me up a bit. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. soft. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like the next thing I post, you're oh like, <laughs> No, no, I just send you this really crazy message. Okay, we see. I know I said I really wanted it, but it's just too much for me right now. It's very painful. Have I ever made anyone cry in here from trolling them or making fun oh, of certain you, things? you, Alex? Yeah. Oh! <gasps> You made her cry? What is wrong with you? Multiple times. And I'm not joking. I wish this was a bit, <laughs> but it's really not a bit. And I've made her cry it's, more it's, times than I can count. It's actually funny, though. Uh, yeah, because she's she laughing. Make, can she make you cry? No. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, she probably could. Like, uh, yeah. she'll say something. I won't cry in front of her, but like, okay, yeah. Okay, Alex, whatever. In the bathroom. <gasps> really? Yeah, all the time. All the time. No, probably. I won't cry in front of people. Really? Yeah. I've seen I, you cry. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. But it was fake. Oh, was it? Actually, I've seen you real cry, too. I have. Acting? No, not acting. It was real cry. Shit. All right. It was more of a tear up than anything, but okay. yeah. You've seen me. Yeah, you've seen me cry. Yi Shing sees me cry, I think, every weekend. No, I'm kidding. I don't. I don't. She's. No. Do you guys just meet? Uh, well, not really. We've known each other for about. Four weeks. <laughs> so you'd be like six years. Six years. Four weeks. She's seen me cry twelve times. <laughs> Can yeah. you imagine? You're just building. <laughs> crying. <laughs> yeah. Tears. By falling. the way, I love the Brit. Bah! Yes. That's one of my favorite things you do ever. It should be on. I don't merch. even know that I'm doing it. It's when you get so excited. I just imagine <laughs> it. It's almost not like a cartoon version, but it's a heavily edited photo, kind of like the Obama. <laughs> Like hope thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's you <laughs> holding a cup of coffee, and you're just like, ah! <laughs> your eyes wide open, and it's just like, ah! that's so good. Yeah. I love that. That's gonna be our merch. Know. We're getting merch next year. Yeah, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind? No, I okay. love that. And then on the bottom it says, bat. It's just yeah. B -A -A -A. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure if he means sheep or just the sound, but it's bat. Oh, Jasmine's merch. I already know what it's gonna be. I already have a screenshot oh, no, of her scared. crying oh, so no. many times, and it's just going to be a close-up of her, just her face crying. <laughs> Not edit it. The actual photo oh, on I got her it. shirt, yeah. and that's it. Wow. Oh, I lo Dude, 
You go I'm, hard in the paint. I'm so good to my friends. You are. I'm gonna get into heaven. I'm doing this all the, all this to get into heaven. But yeah. Way. Well, you might you might like chill out in purgatory for a little while, and then they'll be like, Sunda. if I'm lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My cousin. You think I'm mean? My cousin Mazin is the meanest person ever. He'll straight up go and tell me like, dude, you're going to hell. Wow. I know that sounds kind of dark, is but he's funny when he says it. Yeah, like, he says, he's, he's, he's funnier when he says it. Do you feel like that's the meanest thing someone could say of, to it, you? Well, Ryan? he said, like, they have a really special place for me down there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Maybe that's Man, cool. this doesn't translate Cozy. well whenever we're doing the Like, in Arabic, it's funny. But right now, it's oh. like, it's not that funny. And I just realized that. So, it's okay. We live and learn. Yeah. And this is the journey. Yeah. You can cut it out if it's terrible. No, I leave everything in. It's great. That is great. That's what I like about the show. We rarely edit things out. Unless, well... Oh. Nah, we did. We did a lot. We did a lot a couple episodes ago. Oh, really? Yeah, we had to edit out like 45 minutes. What? Yeah, it was. Is there anything usable? Uh, there was, was some stuff. Was it just Peyton? Was it, 45 minutes? it felt like 45 minutes. It Oh, it had to be what, 25 minutes? It was like 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I exaggerated yeah. a little bit. I mean, 20 minutes. That's a lot of chunk of, oh, man. of a story that could have possibly ruined someone's career. It wasn't even your fault. <laughs> no. In the moment, I was like, oh, it's not so bad. After listening, it's bad. Really? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I could have. Listen, this guy's amazing, but I'm so glad I cut it out. Was it just not his day or it just It would have ruined him? his <gasps> life. Career? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if it gets out. It would have canceled him? For sure. No. It was literally just poor wording. <gasps> poor wording, yeah. Very poor wording. Oh, my But I got his gosh. idea. But I let Alex listen to it. She's like, change it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Oh, my like, gosh. Yeah. That's incredible. Our uh, buddy Isaiah, was it during him? a guy's <laughs> night, no, yeah, oh. he just out of nowhere says a word, and I'm not gonna even, even hint at the word, says it, on air, on the. Uh, was it live? No, no, no. Thank God it wasn't live. <laughs> I mean, it was a guy's night. We had to bleep him out, <gasps> and then of course I said it. We hadn't been drinking, and then. J- poor Jonte's in the middle, just like can't believe we're saying this. What it's not. That? It's not a really, really bad word. I always have to preface it. Like, does the word start with a P? What's? Do that? you remember the word? Yeah, I remember. I'll tell you afterwards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so much to tell me afterwards. I know, I know. People probably hate this part. They're like, just uh, say like, just it say, on air. Come on. But if you're looking for that episode, it's the very last uh, guys' <laughs> night we did. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the very last one or the second to the last one. Last. Yeah, check either one of those out. It was when we beat you guys. Ugh. Yeah. I do not like when you guys do that. Why? I don't. I don't like harm. <laughs> I don't like harm. That was so cute. <laughs> you I don't know? like harm. Well, I don't know. I it's mean, it's fun though. I know. Watching my friends Remember in pain. Remember that pe- pinching thing you do? The, the yeah. I made her cry a few times for that. Really? Wait, did I do it to you on set? Yeah. 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 Not cool. Try it though. I, I'm kind of curious. It's like try like sore of hard. Okay. All right, is this the clip? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> is this the clip? I All don't right. know. Ow. That's not bad. Let me try it again. That's pretty good. Wow. I Do you was think I'm, I'm strong? Yeah, you're very strong. Do it to me. Let's see if I. I have nails. That's fine. Ow! No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That was fun. That was a very. That was, <laughs> that was a my dad joke. That I think I'm, I'm doing more dad jokes now more than ever, and it's a little concerning. Are you ready for kids? All right. Thank you for tuning in to We Sam's World. That is the show. Thanks, Britt, for coming. <laughs> on. Um, no, I think that's good. I, um, no, uh, no, 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 not now. I wasn't a real question. Oh, I thought you were being glad serious. I really no, threw no. you. It really did throw me um, because I thought my mom was talking to you. <laughs> hey, tell, tell, tell we Sam I want grandkids. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it up in the next podcast for yeah. sure. So, do you want kids? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, Mike's I tried, Mama Keish. Um, this has been a great episode. Great first episode. Yeah. I'm ready to rock and roll with the rest of them. It's beautiful in here. Um, we're going to have uh, you and Jasmine in here next. Oh, yeah. Th- that sounds like fun. Oh, yeah. Maybe some Moscatos. Oh, yeah. Some That's that thing we had before, right? Yeah, some oh, little I drinks. Oh, I loved that. Let's do Moscato night. Girls night. Oh, yeah. Girls. And we see him get to be one of the girls. That's it. <gasps> That's it. Or we'll just take over. 
Either one is fine with me. What if we sat you up here and just wrapped you up in like duct tape and then Jasmine and I were just here and we I, were like talking I, and then you just had to sit there and listen to us talk. That would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Yeah. I'm actually curious to try some uh, facial feminine or hand products that that. Hand is, products, is that, sure, yeah, of course. I don't know what. We'll bring over our, the latest and greatest hand products for I, you. <laughs> I've gotta, sounded more like a dude. <laughs> like uh, your hand products. I'd lo- oh, let me try them out and see what they feel like. No, um, I haven't used any hand products recently, but yeah, I'll do some research, see what I can find. What do you usually do you use? Any facials or like creams or what do? You, yeah, you. Jasmine want- uses none. We know that for a fact. <laughs> oh my God. Have you seen? You haven't seen her, have you? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you seen her? <laughs> so bad. What? Face. <laughs> <laughs> that is so. That's such controlling, man. Uh, You're so, so good rude. at it. It's so rude. Um, no, I'm sure there's something. Um, yeah, I got some stuff. I got some some liquids we can <laughs> put on your face. I'm not. I'm not I'm not joking, but this is one of the last text messages I sent her, <laughs> and it was out of nowhere. This is, by the way, no context. It was out of the blue, and I just go, hey, just a friendly <laughs> reminder to brush your teeth today, please. <laughs> <laughs> just, I love the fact that was one oh of the first God. things she saw in the morning. <laughs> oh my God. Man, that is funny. I wouldn't be able to handle it. As long as if it, as long as, yeah, I couldn't handle it. She's, she's thicker, thicker skinned than she's I am. She's just not smart. Yeah, that's it. It just doesn't, like, land on, until her, you know. Yeah. As soon as I, like, try to even veer into the territory of trolling, it just, it just you makes me, yeah, like, abort, abort, abort. That's because you're a good person. No, I'm just scared, like, will we ever come back from this? Oh, she changed her Instagram profile, like, the little circle, mm-hmm. to her new headshot. <laughs> oh that's cool jasmine jasmine you look great yeah it's ghost face from scream um this is what she looks like with her haircut oh nice Did oh you let not- me see it no i've seen the haircut i love the haircut oh you've seen her short hair but i didn't know i didn't know it was pink i, couldn't oh. find pink. I think you're yeah, losing your this sight is her. that's not pink what's wrong with you oh i uh, know she dyed it pink oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah but the short hair looks looks all right i love the short when, hair when she like does it you know She's posted some stories where it's like, <laughs> please delete that for your future career. <laughs> now I'm kind of curious what's in our messages that, like, really I shouldn't. Oh, man. I love that. Please brush your teeth today. Please. Something else is good. I like when you, uh, um, when oh. you guys, when you make fun of her uh, taking care of the cat, Zoa. Okay. You must have brought this up on the podcast before. Yeah. Are we still even on the podcast? Are or is we, this yeah, how we just catch up with the microphones now? We do. Um, no, that poor cat <laughs> is miserable <laughs> in its existence. <laughs> like, uh, dude, if, I, if that was me as a cat, end me. <laughs> Take me to my next life now. <laughs> I don't have eyelids? <laughs> Fuck off. Kill me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I have to be me. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Oh man, that's so good. I don't have eyelids. <laughs> that's, that's her cat. But it's an indoor cat. I, it doesn't even need eyelids. What? It's indoors. There's no sun or rain. She has to put eye drops in that poor cat's eyes twice it's a day. It's inconvenient for sure. Oh but for her, god. the cat's great. And it's, it's blind? Or it's gained it, a lot of weight. seems happy. That's the only, it, thing, the only thing that gives it pleasure is eating. <laughs> yeah. So it's like I'm trying to eat myself to death. I get that. It's Sometimes, trying to give itself a like, heart attack. food is the most fun. I'm like, oh, gosh, I could order those crab rolls. Oh, my God. Crab rolls mm. sounds so good right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, the Fuck. baked crab hand rolls. Oh, <gasps> yes. With the mayonnaise. Someone told me there's mayonnaise in there. I think we need to get sushi tonight. Sushi tonight. Sushi tonight. What time is it? Yeah, we're getting sushi right now. All right. Uh, thank you so much for coming on thank the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, I hope you don't cut it out. We're not cutting out anything. Uh, this won't air for a while, just so you know, because I'm in New York for a few weeks. Yeah. Um, but when we're back, we'll let you know. And 
so we can post it. And I'm so excited. Me hey, too. Uh, I, I love haven't you. I have posted anything on my Instagram in a really long time. So yeah. this will be a good one, maybe. This will be good. I'll go to the grid. Yeah, we'll maybe do a little clip from the show, like a fun clip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, love you. Love Hope you. everything is continues to go great, and we'll catch up properly when I'm back. Sounds good. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Always appreciate you guys. Uh, always remember to listen, think, and then talk. Make sure you subscribe. You didn't even let me play out the new music. Oh. What's Pla wrong with you? I'm sorry, Peyton. Is that the way you talk to me? Oh, shit! That's the new music. All right. We love you guys. I like this music a lot. This is great. I forgot, Peyton. It's my fault. Always remember to listen, think, and then talk. Bye!